I'm Crackshot. Welcome to another episode of Crackshot Chronicle. Today's episode, Ghost Triggers. Now there's a lot of people who buy semi-automatic handguns for personal protection. It's a great choice. With these semi-automatic handguns, they usually come from the factory with a 12, 14, or 15 pound trigger pull. Sometimes even more. These trigger pulls are very heavy because if it's a striker fired firearm, it's going to require a hard impact on the primer to detonate the primer and get the powder burning so you can send the bullet out of the barrel. A lot of people feel that these heavy trigger pulls tend to be detrimental to accuracy because when you aim at the, at the target and you pull on a heavy trigger pull, it can cause you to pull your sights off target. Sometimes you pull your sights off target enough to cause an actual miss on the target. So the solution to a lot of people is to inst install a, a lighter trigger pull. To do that you replace the springs and sometimes there's more than one spring. There's a trigger spring, hammer spring, all these different kinds of springs that come in a kit. But if you go down to say from 14 pounds to 9 pounds it's not no big deal. It's plenty of enough energy on that hammer or, or the spring that launches the, the, the striker to detonate the primer. The problem is when you start going below that, you start going into four pound trigger pull, two pound trigger pulls, yeah they're really good for enhancing a weapon's accuracy because you won't pull them off target. But they're problematic because one, if you drop them, they're likely to go off. As was the case the other day when I was at the range and a friend of mine had a Glock 27. He purchased it recently. The guy who owned it before thought the trigger pull was too heavy, so he put in what's called a ghost trigger spring. The ghost trigger spring kit, I'm not going to mention the manufacturer, but basically it just makes it an extremely light trigger pull. During test firing, I discovered that it was very, very pleasant to shoot. Extremely light trigger, and it didn't cause me any reason to miss the target. However, the gun was at some point dropped on the range with a live round in the chamber, setting the round off. Nobody knows where the bullet went. We found it later on, it was lodged in, in one of the targets at the base. But the bottom line is it could have hit somebody. Somebody on the range, it could have been a fatality. So, I'm posting this out as a warning. Before you go replacing your, your factory triggers with a ghost trigger, keep in mind, not only is it dangerous because it may have an accidental discharge if somebody bumps into you or you trip or get or you drop it but if you shoot somebody in a life and death situation with a ghost trigger there are some jurisdictions that would consider that a negligent discharge especially if the person that you're holding at gunpoint happens to surrender once a person surrenders you are no longer legally allowed to shoot them so no matter what they do or say, if they've surrendered and they're not being a hostile threat to you, you cannot pull the trigger. If you accidentally pull that trigger because you have a ghost trigger on it, guess what? You're going to do some jail time because that's not self-defense. So keep in mind, the best way to become accurate at shooting is to wear your gun out. As you shoot it, the springs become weaker with time. Eventually, it'll be weak enough that even though the spring may be ready for 14 pounds, it may feel a lot less to you. And your accuracy will increase because you've gotten accustomed to shooting with a factory trigger. And when you drop the gun by accident, it won't go off with a round in the chamber. Or at least we hope it doesn't. If you like this video, please subscribe and please hit like. Also, please comment. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so very much for watching Crackshot Chronicles. Have a good day. Thank you.